Well, they have a long-standing tradition as service dogs and now Labrador Retrievers are adding a new role to their resume. That's right. The beautiful canines are helping dementia patients and they're already making a huge impact. Belinda Nixon from Dementia Australia and Greer Gerson from Vision Australia join us now. Good morning, guys. You've got someone there with you as well. Tell us about <laughs> this Australian First project. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, this is a, an Australian First research study that we're doing to really just look at how uh, dogs can be of assistance to people living with dementia. So it's a, a project between us at Dementia Australia, uh, Vision Australia Seeing Eye Dogs, and un the University of Melbourne are doing the research for us. Greer, what is involved in the training of yeah. these dogs? Yes, it's important that the dogs actually have a natural instinct to want to intercede and to present physical touch, as this beautiful boy Gary is doing. Mm -hmm. So we actually take that natural characteristic and their temperament, and we produce and develop some skills specifically for someone with dementia. So in other words, they can actually go and interrupt maybe anxiety or a moment of depression. They can actually do that on command. So their family member could actually send the dog over to provide touch and, and support and input. They also provide a sense of uh, balance and stability when a person's out and about, for instance, in public, and they've got their harness on. They actually can present and provide that balance for someone who might have a bit more of a vulnerable moment, uh, especially approaching a street corner. The dogs are trained to automatically sit, which brings a person's awareness to the environment. And Belinda, what kind of impact would that have on someone who's suffering dementia, be it at an early stage or, or developed? Hey, cares. Oh, cares. Yeah, look, people living with dementia obviously, um, you know, have a number of things that perhaps they are not able to do as well as they used to. Um, and having the dog just around to, to be that extra set of hands in the house for people um, can be really helpful. Obviously, the study is looking at things like loneliness, depression, anxiety and stress um, and how these dogs can help to, to temper some of those things that are, that are things that really do go along um, sometimes hand in hand with dementia. Uh, and really just looking a, a little bit at um, making sure that uh, people are, are feeling like they've got a responsibility. Uh, they're able to take these dogs out in public with them so they've got uh, more confidence um, and really able to just, I guess, live life well with dementia. So I understand you're particularly looking at people with early onset dementia and, and that is people who are diagnosed with dementia sometimes as young as their 20s and 30s, which is pretty hard to believe. How does this change things for them? What, what is the reaction like within themselves and their families? Shall I go? Yeah, what we're finding is both the, the fact that the dog is another presence, so they're actually another family member. Gary's wanting to do a mass exodus here. Come here, Gary. There we go. He's he doesn't like, like this spotlight. He's like, I've been sitting for so long oh, during makeup. He's being a good boy. So what we're finding... He is being a very good boy for a 12 months old too. We gotta hand it to Gary. So what we're finding is that the family members are actually seeing the dogs as another mode of support. So that allows the family member to actually have a bit of respite, even just in the house when the person and the dog are together. Let alone, and I heard this just recently from one of our clients, that someone who never went out individually without their family member now can harness their dog up and take off and just go shopping for two and a half hours and wow. because of that it gives the the husband a chance to actually relax have confidence that this person is out that their loved one is out and and can actually interact with the with the environment and with the public with more confidence wow it is an incredible program we know the good work uh, that these dogs do with people who have vision impairments. So being able to add another string to their bow, if you like, um, you know, could change plenty more lives. Belinda and Greer, thanks for coming on the show to, for, for us this morning. And thanks to Gary, too. He can go and play now. Go and run around. <laughs> <laughs> and if I can add one more thing, uh, this, this program wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the financial and funding support from Gandalf Philanthropy and the State Trustees Australia Foundation who provided the funding for Phase 1. Mm -hmm. And we are actually looking to continue and add another seven participants to the study, so we need to increase our funding as well. And we know thank it's you. doing good work, so we thank them as well. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you.